Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Sai Ryan coming at you with some Crusader Kings 3. I streamed some multiplayer of this game with my friend Issy. It's been a bit. February? It's been a while. But new DLCs come out. Fate of Iberia. And I just felt like you know, I'll play a little bit of that. They added this, uh, this has already been there, but Struggle for Iberia. They're not actually going to be playing here, but I kind of want to take a look at it. It takes place, it starts in 867. The old powers of Iberia are breaking. In the north, Asturias is rife with ambitious vassals straining to be free. South, Al-Andalus waxes strong, but faces rumbles of discontent. The border military districts mutter about independence, and Intri intrigue plagues the ruling Umayyads. Hungry foreign powers eye Iberia's rich lands covetously. Centuries of making the Iberian struggle... Uh, centuries in the making, the Iberian struggle enters a new phase, and whether it ends in blood or brotherhood lies on a roll of the dice. So it's an interesting mechanic that they added. It's it's something called uh like the Iberian struggle, where you can lead events. I don't know specifics exactly, but you, in in a way you can lead events so that it becomes. You basically start the Reconquista. At least that's what the very late. Castilians would call it. Like, the idea of the Reconquista didn't actually exist until, like, unification of Castile and Aragon. So, um... So, yeah, because, like, there, it wasn't, like, a unified front between, like, Christians attacking and reconquering Iberia from Muslims. Christians fought Christians. Muslims fought Muslims. All that stuff. Um, so, so this is um, yeah. Uh, you can, as it says, you can. It could end in blood, kind of more like the the traditional concept of the Reconquista or brotherhood. So that could be a cooperative sort of thing. So let's just take a look at all these characters we're not going to be playing as. This dude. Permanentia Sildo Gutierrez, a powerful vassal of King Alfonso the Third, and I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with the X in these names. Apparently, that was more common in names back in the medieval era versus modern Spanish, which it's like, yeah, it's like they they spoke Spanish at this point, or. Is it proto Spanish? Because I'm this is this is pre Portuguese. I don't even know. You really call it Spanish? Like Galician language, whatever. Those are southern uh, lands of southern Galicia. Galicia. Gotta get that uh, that Spanish lisp. Castilian lisp. Uh, with an unsullied administration, an unquestionable loyalty towards his monarch has helped him expand the ancestral domain of his family. But is that enough? With a growing, in growing interest in the south, will you be able to conquer the lands of Portugal and stand, start one of the most influential dynasties? Got another Catholic over here. Catalan. Uh... Gifrer the Hairy. Interesting. When his father and uncle were butchered by the Duke of Toulouse, the Frankish, Frankish king took their lands, leaving Gifrer and his cousins destitute. It's been 20 years and the wheel turns. Reappointed to his father's lands, Gifrer's uh, scheming cousin has likewise taken back his birthright, and their new liege is a cousin of the man who killed their parents. You of all people know that fortunes can change in the blink of an eye and crave a more uh, secure prize. Barcelona. Then we've got some of the Muslims. Oh, he's Bosque, which is interesting. 
powerful dynasty of Banu Kasi, the sons of Cassius, once overlooked all the Ebro Val- Sons of Cassius? Huh. That's an interesting- That just makes you think of one of Caesar's assassins, but this is a long, long time after that. Hard times have befallen them since the reign of Lub's glorious father. They and the newly renamed Banu Mas Musa really mutter and lick their wounds from their ancient seat at Uleda, fighting to recover their southern domains. Will he be able to retake what once belonged to the Banu Kasi and bring the dynasty back to former? It's former glory? Bosk, that is interesting. We got this guy, Andalusian, as you'd more expect. Baranis. I think Baranis is more... I, more Moroccan? Uh, a rogue at heart. Oh, yeah. Uh, Abdul... Okay, Abdul Al-Rahman ibn Marwan was a tumultu has a tumultuous relationship with his liege, the Umayyad Sultan. But he enjoys strong support from the uh, Mazarabs, Mazarabs in his domain, and might in truth have more in common with them and their faith. You don't say. He has carved out a stronghold in Barajos, but in the west, the zealous... Isn't uh, did this guy... Is this a guy that actually converted to a sort of Christian... I mean, it's Christian, but it's not like... Catholic. Oh, we'll look at them in a second. He's carved out a stronghold in Badajoz. Uh, but in the west, the zealous Banu Danis clans grows ever more opposed to his rule over the lower march. Might an alliance with Alfonso III, Asturias' ever optimistic king, help you gain a, a crown of your own? We got Emir Adanis. Asked. Uh, by the Umayyad Sultan was protecting the western coast from Viking raids, the Berber Banu Danis dynasty has quickly uh, grown in influence and power. Emir Adanis has built strong fortresses in Al Aser and Coimbra, but is concerned about the Mozarabs under his Mozarabs under his rule, who would rather side with Nemesis Ibn Marwan. Can you secure your lands and lead the Berbers to a great future in El And El Al Andalus? Yeah, yeah, this guy is actually a Berber. So uh, we're not going to be playing with any of those guys. Instead, we're going to be launching forward to 1066, and we are actually not going to have achievements on, which is kind of sad. Uh, I want to play as El Cid, and the only way you could really do that. Yeah, like the only way you could actually do that is either by switching characters mid-game or by um yeah, it's like that's the only way you could play as him. There is an achievement to become king of Valencia as an heir of his, but I kind of just I can't have my cake and eat it too. So I, I just want to play as El Cid. So, actually, if we had, uh, hold on. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, we, we don't need to actually show that. Yeah, we won't have Iron Man on. We are going to start off playing as Sancho II, the Strong of Castile. I believe it is his dynasty that would lead to most of the conquest of Iberia. I believe it would, like, the ruling, like, family of Castile would change before the, it would really be ending, uh, like, the Reconquista. But yeah, we got Sancho here. Got some relationships. He's obviously, he's got a couple rivals here. Sadly, they are his brothers and a cousin. But we got a friend. Rodrigo uh, uh, Campeador de Vivir. Vivar. This is El Cid, the Emperador, which just means the champion, is what the uh, Spanish speakers 
call them. It's actually the Muslims that call them El Cid, which is uh, the Lord or the Ruler or something like that. So we're actually going to go ahead and uh, grant him a little title. We're going to go ahead and give him the County of because uh, we can't play as a non-landed character. We're going to give him, because he's our friend. Why wouldn't we want to give our friend something real nice here? I thought he had higher martial than that. That's, that's pretty good. That's real good, but I thought he had something a little bit better. But we're going to need to make him even better. He is also 18, so he's really not even, he's barely even started doing any of this, you know? He could, like, marry one of my daughters, or, like, my sister to him, but that's a little too cheesy for my liking. Uh, it's already a lot for this character to even give him any territory, because my dude is ambitious. He's gonna get 25 stress because of it. But we're gonna, and we could hypothetically just give him a ton of territory, but we won't do that. We're not gonna cheese that that hard. We're only gonna give him the one. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, switch characters. To El Cid. And now we'll play with what we got here. Wow, we have... Um, we are lacking in uh, proper... <laughs> Oh, hold on. We could have a, maybe a decent spy master. My mother. Sure. Mom! Let's stab that guy! Alright. Okay. 28. 10 years older. Oh, uh, we could actually do this. It would accept. 28, though. Can we get somebody... Can we get a... A Jimena a little bit younger? Get a betrothal. She's 25. No, she's married, though. 26. Trusting, impatient, and wrathful. Will not. They definitely have given them more proper outfits. This is pretty one too old. I mean, not super. All right, I know his actual wife is her. 20, spineless villain. I mean, 28, lazy, cynical, chaste. I mean, to marry my best friend's sister, I mean, doesn't have great stats, but this does give me a claim on the kingdom. Or my heir would get a claim on the kingdom. I mean, we got a decent, she has a decent uh, opinion of me. My opinion of her. I mean, this gives us a lot of prestige. That's 500 prestige out of the gate. And they will accept. Apparently she's considered to be marrying up. Apparently I speak the Iberian vulgar. Yeah, languages was something that was added somewhat recently, like more... Complex language stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. 
Who is not the... Not really good at anything. Average learning. Uh... Hmm. Lifestyle, though. Yeah, we... Oh, yeah. We gotta go Marshall. We're going Marshall here. I think I want to go... Hmm. Chivalry sounds good. That sounds very El Cid. Let's go, let's just go for the chivalry. I like it. Pay homage. Fish and liege. Struggles. Yeah, this is the new thing. You are now part of a struggle. Oh, that's a... Lots of this. Um... You're now part of a struggle. Struggles are a prolonged conflict within a region where the actions of all participants will change the state of the area. They're, they kind of have things like this. This is kind of like the Reformation in EU4. Yeah, uh, so it's different phases. The changes in the state of the region will come with effects to war, faith, and culture. Ultimately, all participants compete to be the one to decide how the struggle ends, affecting all participants in the region. Right down there. Struggle region is marked within a new border, which highlights if you hover over the struggle button. Uh, characters outside the region can join a struggle by acquiring lands within the struggle region, moving their capital into that area. Interesting. Now, that makes you think that, uh, like, the Duchy of Toulouse, the Duke of Toulouse, maybe conquer his way into Barcelona, then attack. Alright, I, I do appreciate this tutorial, actually. I'm afraid the potential in this phase of the catalyst. Break a truce. An involved ruler. Serp a new title, which is part of the de jure Hispania. Feel the secret of an involved ruler. Become rival or nemesis with another involved ruler. Convert an involved ruler or county. Kill an involved ruler. Use a hook on an involved ruler. Oh yeah, it's like all the characters in this area actually affect this. So that's pretty neat. Fire claim on title and the jure. Yeah. Uh, these are all the uh, callous towards hostility. I feel like that's the most likely thing to happen. Release an involved ruler from prison without any request. Convert to the local involved culture or faith. Ransom an involved ruler? This yearly drift. That's just always kind of going. Uh, applying... Okay, a current struggle phase impacts a whole struggle region. Oh, this would be really cool to deal with, like... Like, the struggle between the Church and the Holy Roman Empire. That would be really neat. And there's a lot of potential for things like this. Because, like, this one thing about Crusader Kings 
in the second one and into the third one beforehand, there is actually very little that actually occurs that's related to history. Like, there are a lot of mechanics in EU4 that simulate progress and change. Where in Crusader Kings, there's like... Crusades can happen whenever. Kinda. I mean, depending on how... Like, some very inevitable occurrences happen. Or... And then also, like, Mongols show up. And that's really about it. Uh, I mean, a little bit of... Hey, Vikings can now use boats. Other than that... I cannot think of a single thing that actually changes. Other than... You just conquer things. Like, the game does not replicate... The thousand years of history that actually occur in the medieval era. Alright, uh, the whole struggle region. Uh, the capital outside the struggle region or else be unlanded. Oh, what is that? The character would be considered uninvolved. Okay, they need to have their capital outside the struggle region or else be unlanded outside of it. Means they're considered an outsider, someone who not only has an exterior stake in the ongoing phases, but who shouldn't because they clearly couldn't understand local nuances. As one of the only things people decide to struggle can agree on is that uninvolved characters have no business in their lands. Uninvolved rulers generally take harsh penalties any country and any counties they, they hold within a struggle region. Interesting. Uh, so the potential is uh, a thousand progress. To increase the progress of any of the potential phases, you must complete the catalyst. Affect any potential next phases. Learn more about them, their effects, and recent struggle catalyst progress. Huh? Uh, the struggle will keep changing phases until a participant triggers one of the ending decisions and ends the struggle. You can always inspect the ending decision to change the requirements and effects. Valerian dominance. It is time for a strong leader to finally drag this peninsula from the mire of war and division. Iberia can will be united under a Catholic king flying the banner. Gain the nickname the Conquistador. That's the latter renown. Unlocks creation of the Empire of Hispania. Cool, cool. That is quo. These endless conflicts over the peninsula only weaken us all. It is time to accept that Iberia will... Yo, um, what's up, man? Nothing, I'm just kind of going through the new mechanics added in the in some DLC. Which is like... Feels like a lot. It's a pretty big thing added here. Uh, no one has united, instead be content with Suelia Suyar. Pragmatic. Gotcha. Or Detente. Detente. Wounds of the past centuries will uh, not be easily healed. But we must try if the peninsula is to find a lasting peace. Truly, Iberia belongs to us all. Equitable. 
Uh, let's see, level of fame. Cool. Uh. All right, this is everyone that's involved here. I think these are all of the just all of the rulers of any rank, or maybe count or higher. Yeah, streaming's a fun thing, and I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, you know, it's funny that this mechanic actually kind of takes the place of a holy war. I don't know if we can even really uh, call crusades in Iberia anymore because we have this. We'll see. We might uh, we might be going holy war on him. Going to be crusading here. Who knows? Uh, what's the struggle? Yeah, this is everything. I understand. Okay, interesting. For the Emperor, eventually. Okay. Now, hold on. Is this in our same duchy? Are you... Do you have the duke? Is the duchy title? It's not here. I need, uh... Three duchy titles. I need three duchy... Means I will need. Uh, if I go for you, I'll give you one closer. That'll definitely be an easier fight, probably, than having to fight the. Uh, fight fight these guys. They've got uh, 3k. I have. <laughs> 300. Okay, I'm gonna need the. Uh, Fun items. Fun items are always a fun time. I'm making very little money. I need to just get more people. How do I... I forget how you actually... This. Hello. Alright, this is the castle that I own. Pegova. All right, and uh, Mozarabism, which is the head of the faith, is still the Pope, but uh, a descendant of the early Iberian rites, Mozarabic Christianity has maintained a level of independence from Rome due to centuries under Islamic rule. Their long cohabitation with other faiths had made them more accepting of differences than more fundamentalist sects. So basically, they are. Christians that remain Christian under Muslim rule, really. Like, they still see themselves as being just as uh, Catholic as the other Catholics, but they are uh, but de facto they function differently. Kind of like how insular Christianity up here works differently. A world church that drifted away from the Ca Roman Catholic Orthodoxy some centuries ago, insular Christianity has lost many of its once distinctive features at the insistence of its mother church. It yet retains a great emphasis on, pen on penance and monasticism, and incorporates many traditional Celtic marriage customs or into wider Christi uh, Christendom. So I, re I appreciate that they added a lot of diversity while still technically being under the Pope. That's a nice a nice thing they added. Also you. This province. Are they their head of faith? They don't have one. They're not under the uh, ecumenical patriarch or bogomlists. Like these guys are outright heretics. There's like a lot of debate as to what these folks actually believed. Long forgotten by Catholic and Orthodox delight. The Christiani of the Bosnian Highlands are more permissive than their better-known compatriots, but lack formal uh, formal structure. 
full Palpatine. That's... I don't think I want to do that, but that's not impossible. You can make your own... religion. Or at least denomination. Um, let's see. The retaining many archaic elements of Christianity, they are often treated scornfully by co-religionists, if remembered at all. So it's not exactly certain. Like, there's not much writing on these guys. Some people, I think, some writings say that they were like terrible pagan. Heretics and uh, but at the same time, it's that's from very critical people. Certified forklift driver in the old republic. What is that? Shenmu? What is what's happening? Okay, uh, so I need to find a better people for my council if I can. How do I okay? I need the courtiers. Court position, antiquarian. Not court tutor, seneschal, bodyguards, personal champion. A forklift mount. That's funny. There's a lot of cool titles here. I think these actually have meaning now. Instead of just being like, hey, I like you a little more. Decisions. Knight the Spanish Thrones, petition lead. White Knights? Alright, this cost me prestige. A little bit. Let's actually just unpause for a little bit and see what happens. See how we do. The Iberian struggle. The Iberian Peninsula is in turmoil. A conflict born of its storied past. Outsiders covet the land, and the great Muslim and Christian powers seek to sway its people. But those who live and die on its soil will ultimately determine its fate. I will not let slip my vision of my homeland. My god, House de Vivar, will weather the storm and see my will fulfilled. You are one of the involved participants in the Iberian struggle. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, Ferdinand Claim costs prestige instead of gold. I don't know if that's, if I like that or not. That's probably easier. Maybe Court Jester. If I... Maybe I'll get a son, and if he is Court jester material, I'll name him after you. Wars within the struggle costs less prestige, unlocks the border raid, cast the belly. Ooh. Unlocks the Contract Assistance Interaction. Bargain Fealty Interaction. Mercenary cost is even less. Ooh, I like that. Converting to involve culture is less expensive. Learning a new language provides prestige. Granting a title to a local noble provides prestige. Increasing the development of a county with a different culture increases, increases cultural acceptance. Alright. Converting to an involved faith is less expensive. Alright. Uh, I mean, I don't think I can actually name random courtiers after you, but maybe we can pretend. I'll I'll make some I'll make somebody the court jester and we'll pretend that's you. Vert Faith and County proceeds faster within the struggle region. Interfaith marriages are allowed between involved characters. Interesting. Other effects by claim interaction. A lot of stuff. Alright. Take hold of faith. Alright, I'm getting married to my liege's sister. She's ten years older than me. But, hey. Wedding celebration. Ooh. Do I want the money? I'm not- I'm making very little at the moment. 
And I've got a decent bit of prestige already. I mean, kind of, from it. Alright, maybe I'll do that. He will be... He will be the court jester. Yeah, let's grab the money. I want to use that to... Oh. To our oath of true friendship. Rodrigo, my brother. My companion. Oh, wait, let's... Hold on a second. I was unpaused. Did that? Okay. Am I... Am I sworn... Is he my sworn brother? That's not what I want. Okay, you know what? I didn't even have a saved game. Alright, no. Uh, I want him to be my sworn brother. Try this again. <laughs> One more time. Alright, as you see, friends with Rodrigo. I, I was just on. I was unpaused and was going very quickly while I was reading his invitation. I thought it was paused, and. Because I took too long, it got rid of my, uh, my whole... Feeling, uh, it, it made me say no, I didn't want to be best friends with my, my king. Find him one more time. I don't know, man. She's definitely more jestery. But at the same time... Ah. What are you? You're, you want to be the food taster? See who lives longer. Yeah, sadly she is... She is chased, so hopefully... We'll still be able to get married. Let's keep it on speed 3 so I don't ruin this again. Alright, Marshal. Chivalry. We got, like, Master of the Horse. And we've got, like, more formal positions, like, Counselors. I got a Bishop here. He's actually pretty good learning. Honest, Diligent, and Calm. Yeah, he sounds like a good priest to have. Got a spy master, marshal, chancellor, steward. Oh, my mother has different stats now. Dang. Go and get you as my steward, I guess. Yep, got this. But then there's also... When it's celebration, let's get that money. Courtiers. Court physician, antiquarian, which is like... Responsible for upkeep, care, and procurement of artifacts. Court tutor... Seneschal, there's an important role in day-to-day -day life of the royal household, administering servant, administrating, yeah, administering servants, and keeping everything running smoothly, bodyguard, bodyguard, personal champion, guild and deadly fighter, that can represent the legion duels, food taster, master of the horse, master of the hunt, royal architect, high almoner, which is like... Distributing alms to serving the poor and other subjects in need. Personal champion. I don't know. You don't seem like the pugnacious type to me. Cupbearer. Court jester. Court poet. Court musician. Executioner. You just don't seem like the guy that would take a bullet for me. No offense. 
Oh, you mean literally? What does that mean? Uh, like the kind of guy that would fight, that r really wants to fight, you know? All right, how about you be my spy mistress? Oh, you're actually pretty... Well, you're okay at the, uh... Ancillary. You've actually got... Alright. Maybe we see how you do as a bodyguard, and then... Alright, uh, we want to go to decisions. Let's go ahead and invite some knights. I got a bit of prestige, so... I think we want these guys... To be able to be our, uh... We want to we wanna, we wanna have some fighting going. All right, let's see if we can uh, convert this. They are Mozarabic, but they, it's Mozarabism, which is fine. But we'd rather them be Catholic. Domestic affairs, foreign affairs. Here it is. He paused here. Greetings, my implacable vassal. Rodrigo, my brother, my companion, my confidant. Will you join me in declaring our friendship to the truest and brightest in all the world, of all the debts of loyalty that entails? Absolutely. We're best friends. All right, um, that's, okay, we haven't gotten any knights yet, any more knights, wait, no, yeah, uh, wants, we got a couple guys, this guy's got ten, Ooh, this guy. A rapacious villain. Got high prowess, but not exactly the best marshal. Alright, that's one. Chess two. Wow, the sequel to chess. They've finally come out with it. After winning another game of chess, chess against myself, I can't help but think that perhaps my towering intellect can improve this game so. This is, this is our first event, and it's literally reinventing the wheel. But what change could we make? Chess 2. I really wish they, I, like, wow, yeah, man. The king is clearly too weak. What the hell? Finally, they came out with a sequel to Chess, made by El Cid himself. Yo, I'm Master of the Hunt!
already 33% towards cons uh, conciliation. It changed at any moment. At the moment, I don't really have enough money to make this guy knight. Sudden shock. I've ridden, taken aim, and struck so many times, I thought nothing could upset my rhythm. As I take another, yet another gallop down the practice range, a commotion I cannot fully see makes my horse rear up. For an instant, momentum keeps me pinned to the back of the horse as it starts shaking. Then as if time is flowing slow, I could feel myself becoming dislodged. Um, 90% chance this goes well. Calm down, boy. Calm down. In charge. I could feel myself being thrown left and right, but no motion can make me loosen my grasp on the reins of the set and the saddle. My commands eventually soothe the horse, and the animal is soon back to stomping eagerly at the hard-packed ground as stable as ever. Gain stress... I gain a war horse, though. Why would I gain stress? I want this war horse. Plus one prowess and plus 0.25 prestige per month. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this one. I'll take personal care of this one. A little stress is fine. The war horse. Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command, I muse upon what to call him. Name inspired by history. Mythology is full of awe-inspiring horse names. It's just a horse. Let's go with one from history. The War Horse. Ooh. Fired by the famous horses belonging to leaders and heroes of old, I will name my stallion after one of them. Encendor, Charlemagne's horse. Cephalus. Uh, Alexander the Great's horse that... He did. Never mind. Aeus Saeus. The, what is that? Thanian. Thane Ibn Ali. Red hair? Blue Boo's horse. Valentif, Valentif, Roland's horse. Incitatus Caligula's favorite. Or... I, I, how the hell would I know about Lou Boo? Let's go red hair. Absolutely. Alright. My first action is that I think I want to take this guy out. I forget who actually get like... Oh, Fabricate Claim. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, I don't need to convert you quite as quickly. Yeah. That's more important. Here we got another knight. He's got good marshal. Alright, give him 60. There we go. Look at him! The so, Ohm, have you played any Dynasty Warriors games?
Come along pretty quickly. Okay, so you played all the Warriors games except for Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Bishop endorsement. My Bishop is not endorsing me. Hey, buddy. Come on, man. Let's sway. Okay, we got a decent chance of this. In a year, we should be able to sway him. He's a pretty good bishop. I'm, I'm happy to have him. Extalia Link. Adlubu. Mercy for the mercenaries. Bustle, uh, the bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tankard is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow. And all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. Manuel thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days. And they're fighting and scaring the staff and guests. Oh, yeah, there was one on the PSP. Yeah, let's go... Ooh, yeah, absolutely do this one. Because I've got high prowess, I can do... They're too drunk to be a real threat. This will be over quickly. Hell yeah. Red hair, the sixth stallion. Oh, no. As red hair trudges out of the stable, dragging his legs, hanging his head, there can be no doubt. The stallion is sick. Stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails him. But it comes at a hefty price. I'll pay. Sure. No price too steep for my beloved red hair. Alright, I prowled through documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. I've, I have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of Soria. I was missing a little bribe. Sure! See it done! Got a claim. All right. This should be too long. He's got real low prowess and martial. How many dudes do I have? 357, he's got 361. Our numbers are pretty inconsequential. Pretty small difference. We've got some solid knights. Some less solid. Yes, yeah, they are actually officially releasing the restored content. I really want to get that now. I need to get a switch. Light footman.
I'm just trying to remember exactly how... Yeah, we need to raise... Raise all armies. That's the button I want. Oh, nice! You know, finding, that's like finding 20 bucks in your back pocket you didn't know it was there. Struggle Clash. Border Raid. I claim. Vassalize a contested title, destroying any titles the holder has that are equal or higher to the tier than you. That's like a devotion thing. Or, uh, yeah, this costs piety. This is piety and prestige. This one's just prestige. Border aid. That's actually cool. I may want to be doing that against uh, some stronger dudes before too long. $100. Very nice. Hopefully it's still active there. Alright, let's see if we go for it. War, we're declared. Oh yeah, that music. Oh my goodness. Who's attacking uh, Galicia over here? against Portica Liberty War. Oh my. Oh, this music though, dude. Alright, well we got our guys all raised. Go for it. Now, they are defending in the mountains though. Hold on. Let's see if we can bait them out. Yo, new Marshall perk. Very good. I was not thinking about the terrain. Hmm. How my, how, how's my relationship with my wife going? Apparently it's pretty good. Hopefully we'll get a baby. I've got a cousin. Old cousin. May lose. I mean, he, he's a cousin. Fine, I guess. Oh, cool. Uh, you shouldn't have gotten Knights of the Old Republic on Steam. It's not good. Just, it's better on the Switch. I bought it. Um, I, it's very, it was very difficult to stream. Which is the worst part of it. So if you don't plan on streaming it, it may not be as bad, but... No. There's a problem. Yeah. That's still too much. <laughs> I bought it for, like, four bucks, and I regret it. Alright, I think I should... We do not have any cheaper mercenaries. I mean, if you can fix it, then awesome, but... I'm gonna... I had a hard time with it. All right, we swayed him. That's good. Uh, 
Can I romance my wife? Oh, Force Unleashed would be good, though. Maybe I should have gotten that one. I should have jumped the gun in a lot of ways. I'll, I'll try and sway my wife. I mean, I'll probably win. That's what it's saying here. We got better army, more commander traits. Hopefully, hopefully it's being honest to me here. We have the same number of dudes. We're attacking into the mountains, though. Go get them, boys! Nope, oh, we're losing. Our knight wounded that other guy. Okay, now we gotta get out of there. Still got comparable numbers. Did my marshal die? Lord. Oh, you got captured. Yeah, every game on every console is the same now. I think I'll go serve the crown. Talking Turtle, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Alright, I think I'm just gonna upgrade you. Hopefully that'll just give me the advantage. I mean, all things considered, you weren't doing the worst. Consider even though we were attacking into a mountain. I mean, if we just have a hundred more guys, that'll hopefully make the difference. Oh, okay. Who are you? Alright, sure. Let's go fight that guy. Hold an ally into the war. Wanna go? Let's go, nerd. Oh, he's got a lot of guys. Okay, I give up. Why do you have so many friends? Can I call? Yeah, he obviously can't help out in a, in a vassal's thing. Now he's getting off his capital. Oh, I've got the high ground. This 
This is not gonna end well. I don't even have enough soldiers. Yeah. You know what? Last auto save where I wasn't stupid. When did I start this war? There are 14 months ago. And it is currently... Uh, alright, so it was, uh, 1068. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't worry about that. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one. We're gonna, it's gonna be a bit of time before we can do that war. At the very, okay, we need, we need to build up. We need to build up here. Not really special equipment. Just... I mean, uh... There are ways. Like, you... The way that I do it is that you need a capture card. I, okay, that is the special equipment. You, you need an HD capture card, which costs some money. And then you need... Uh, so you plug in the, the Wii HDMI cable into a signal splitter. Uh, and then take one the, one of the cables goes to the capture card. And the capture card goes to the computer. And another cord goes from the... Um, the signal splitter to your TV. That's basically how you do all the uh Yeah, that's how you do all of it. I'm already scheming the sway in, that's good. You're making a claim. Hmm. Let's just convert first. Let's not worry about that anymore. Any, uh, the claim anymore. It's not complicated. It's literally just cable to thing. Thing has two cables. They go to one thing and then the other. And then one thing goes to your PC. It's not complicated. Alien culture? Commoner of Italian heritage has been accosted in the streets of Segovia over some minor offense. By making a statement in their defense, I could perhaps convince suffragan bishop Lan Franco, the, uh, the equally Italian of my good character. But I might risk alienating my Castilian peers. Uh, Castilians are of superior moral fiber. I'll wait to weigh him. Yeah, just kind of speeding along here. No sheriff appointed. There are not enough sheriffs in all the territory in this county. Oh, great. A better steward? He's just being a bad steward. Uh, he's the best. Go ahead and do the uh, this one. Trusty Stallion. Oh, the renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty stallion red hair and offered us his services. All I ask in return is a small compensation. 
stronger, more swiftly, something is learned, and work on endurance. There's one thing is lacking is fierceness. I kind of like the idea of fierceness. That sounds fun. Red hair took to his training well, and results could be seen instantly. That money was well spent. Fierce war horse. Cool. Ah, gross Italian. One thing the world needs less of is Italians. <laughs> Italy is not even a real thing. We have the spear. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To uh, couch my spear coach? Couch. Yeah. Attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would be uh, do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. Expert or uh, do we want to go for the martial skill? Respected expert, just plus two prowess. That's nice. Uh, the five alerts. Uh, let's see. I can declare some wars. Some random person can get married. I could get a court physician. I don't have enough knights. And I can demand the king gives me money. Hydrate, thank you. I think I'd rather use my hook on something a bit more useful. Oh, maybe I could actually demand he gives me land. What do you guys think? Two more prowess, or we go... Prestige and 70%. That's not a given. Two more prowess. I think we go for the prowess. Me and my trusted spear will not part. Got 34 prowess. We're the best warrior in the land. Tabletop warriors? All right, he has been swayed. So what are the other wars that I could do? Hold on. Yeah, I could do a border raid here. Gain gold in proportion to the development of the county. I mean, but at the same time, I don't really... The number of guys that I've got... I mean, if I attack him and then calls in his dude, I don't... Uh, could he even really call in his guy for a border raid? Really? I think we can go ahead and increase the size. Hey, I'm the new dyni dynasty out of the Osorio dynasty? Is that me? Huh? Interesting. Uh, face and religions. Challenge to board game. Hello, Vassal. Uh, I would count on you in all things, and I wonder, would you commit to always aid each other in matters of experience and training? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, except. And, greetings, I am placable vassal. Salutations, my fine friend. Would you care for a rousing game of chess? I invented chess too. Oh, hey there. Koenig Penguin, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. 
I'm Sire Ryan. I'm a psychic that plays video games on the internet. I like Crusader Kings. One of my favorites. So, uh, you know, I'm sure I'd be surprised if you were not here from uh, another Crusader Kings stream. I am playing as El Cid himself. I gave him some territory, sadly not getting any achievements doing it. But, uh, yeah, I've got... Gave him some territory, and I'm gonna do a big old empire as El Cid and his dynasty. Yeah, just finished CK2, CK stream yourself. Very good. Thanks, man. How you doing, everybody? Who are you playing as? Yes, those are definitely my weaknesses. But what if I'm psychic dark type? Wahaha. Wait, no. Finland. Oh, interesting. So were you like playing as a sticking as a pagan? Like uh Finland or Yeah, they've already Yeah, they're still pagan up here. Fairy. I'm not fairy type. I'll be anything but fairy type. Finland Orthodoxy all the way. Good man. Good man. For God in Rome. Um, definitely weak to bug. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a dark type. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm psychic. I don't really think I qualify for water. I love my water types, but I'm not a not a psychic. So if you like Crusader Kings, I'll definitely be playing this. I'm also hopefully going to be doing some uh, multiplayer one of these days. And you should follow the channel. I also like playing retro games. Tomorrow I'm planning on playing some... Maybe not tomorrow. Uh, Thursday I think I'm going to play some Stellaris. Playing as Space Elves. Yeah. Eight to fair. You know. But yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah. We're just kind of... Oh yeah. L let's do the board game. I will apparently gain stress. If I win I'll lose stress. Sure, yeah. I invented chess 2, so I've got to be an expert at chess 1. The beautiful game, chess. Oh, it looks like I kicked his ass. He's got a black eye. King Sancho is already waiting to begin our little chess match. That waiting with a competitive grimace uh, writ large across his face. We are neck and neck, through, though neither of us is even close to victory. Yes, this is the new flavor pack. We've got the whole Iberian struggle going on here. So far, we're gearing towards conciliation. But I kind of want hostility. It's cool. Like, I first of all, appreciate the different costumes, the different outfits for people over here. But I really like the idea of this. Like, this actually adds history. In Crusader Kings 2, there really wasn't many... There was nothing in the game that actually geared it towards things that happened in the medieval era. There was... It was just kind of like a big old blob that, hey, some crusades happened, the Mongols showed up eventually, and maybe some raids happened from some Vikings. But there wasn't anything big. There was nothing that was like... This is the Reconquista. Here is the conflict between the Holy Roman Empire and the Papacy. Here is maybe like the, um... Uh, what else? I don't know, just other major things that happen. Like, the uh, invasion of, like, these... Like, I don't know, a, a bunch of other things that could happen in medieval history. Like, it finally adds something like that. Alright, so, uh, you're not throwing this deliberately because of our agreement, are you? Queries my opponent, scratching his chin thoughtfully, because you play like you're trying to lose. Alright, so I've got, uh, definitely the highest marshal here. Thinking out, whip me. 
Critical success. Yeah, it's based on learning. Innocent whistling. <laughs> or a strong sword arm is a strong die arm. Which, I mean, I don't really see how Marshall could ever translate into chess. But I guess that's what we're going to be going with. Our match uh, marches on, Sancho continuing with several well-executed adaptive strategies. We're neck and neck through, though neither is most... Eh. Then the sa same thing happened, apparently. I don't know if that was... It's probably not a critical success, but... Yeah, hold on. I'll just kick the king's ass, my best friend. Oh, what do I what am I drinking there? Much is on. Oh, okay. Uh Central continuing with a simply pathetic gambit. Last that somehow this man seems to counter every stratagem I employ. I am beating him handily, though neither of us is even close to victory. God, you can't let me have an iota of control, can you? Laments my my opponent. I got, I know the rules of chess at the back of my hand. I invented chess too. Of course I know the rules. It takes a subtle mind to play chess. Chess, like war, is a, uh, all a matter of logistics. Is it? Really? You don't exactly need to give your pawns and enough, enough food to move forward. Chess? Yeah, okay. I've got crazy martial skill, man. Our match... Marches on with this continuing with a series of devastating innovative strategic plays. Last and some uh, uh, we're neck and neck and the victory is so close I could taste it. Are you using the Count's Gambit again? Moans my opponent. You are so cheap. Come on, dude. Parallel theory of chess. You'll never see my moves coming. My martial mind makes me unbeatable. Yay! Woo! Look at me! I go! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> With world triumph, I surged my feet, scattering pieces everywhere. The game of chess is mine. Another fine victory on my indisputable rise towards the role of king of games. I will be Yu-Gi-Oh! A desolate Sancho remains seated, hands on his haunches, trying to comprehend where he went wrong. I win the match against Sancho due to sudden death. How does it feel to lose, little man? I'd love to play you again sometime. Diplomacy challenge? Winning at a board game is accomplished in one of two ways. Painting a dramatic lead and score over the opponent. Or being the defending player if there is no clear winner after four rounds. Um, yeah, I think we'll go to 85%. Yeah, I'd love to play again sometime. Yeah, there we go. Good game, my guy. Good game. GG. Bestowing his royal favor upon me. Could I get a, get another province, my dude? He, he yeah, hundred percent there. Energize friendship. Balance the board game. Um. Modify vassal contract. Step for Karibo. So if I choose this, this will save me 0.1 gold a month. <laughs> I don't think I need to do that. Who the rules? I have money. How'd you get wounded, dude? Uh, 
Um, yeah, is there... Once he's done converting, I'll see about getting a claim over here. Oops. What happened? Oh, what, what was that? Alright, this guy wants to challenge me to a game as well. Mayor of... wherever. Do it! Alright, I mean, my marshal's crazy high. What are this guy's stats? He's also a, a decent marshal dude, but not as good as me. Uh, keep on doing that. I should have been reading a little bit more of this. Yeah, that's a robust attempt at a coherent coherent strategy. That's the sound of a counter. I'm beating him handily, and victory is so close I can taste it. By St. Catherine laments my opponent, do you think I gave you too many openings? I wasn't expecting to lose so badly so soon. Woo! I'll just say good game. Alright, how can I upgrade my holdings here? And everybody wants to board game me. Yeah, I do not have enough money for any of that. Sure. Except. You know they tell me I need books to prove my smartness pontificates my opponent, but I think it's pretty clear right now that I'm not such a lout. Competitive Grimace. He is not very good at anything. Sorry, Mayor. Uh, that. Continue with several blandly standard moves. Naturally, my te techniques cunningly foil my opponent. I'm beating him handily, though neither of us is even close to victory. He's up on the blatant cheating for a moment. That's <laughs> my opponent. There we go, easy. I care to be a rival to this guy. Nah, he's one of my is he my vessels. No, he's eh, good game. He's not swayed. Oh, make another attempt. Yo, pregnancy. All right, my wife is pregnant. We're getting a baby, everybody. And of lost birds. A wounded and disillusioned mercenary group has arrived at the county of Quedar. Since the entire series. So much Hugo. Uh local claims the locals claim to have overheard talk of settling down after pillaging an easy target and have begun to grow anxious. Tensions are high, and conflict is likely to arise if I do not inter intervene in the matter. Uh, my diplomacy is not very high. Alright, I mean, I will absolutely win if I do this. I'll get a little bit stressed because I'm trusting. Let's not go for that one. I'll get a little bit of stress, that's fine. You organize a preemptive strike using the local garrison in a surprise attack to punish, push the vandals out. Hey, some of my best friends are vandals. 
Yeah, get a little bit of money, get some prestige. Is that money? There we go. Fireside Tales. Fire crackles, casting long shadows on the wall of the servants' quarters. A wizened old woman holds ch uh, holds children agog with her tales. The Anjana are good and kind fairies who take care of forests. Black pupils and gosmer wings, they aid wounded animals and lost people. They tread so lightly that twigs don't snap under their weight. If you find one of their colorful ro rose petals, you may be happy until your death. Fire sputters and fades as the old woman finishes her story and divvies the children to prepare for bed. Five stress. Gain some prestige. Eh. Not really close to gaining a stress level. Ah, nonsense ghost stories. As an uprising. Let's go for Parthian tactics. Uh, or should I go for... Cause I won't back down. Sure, Parthian tactics. They got a thumb there. Newborn daughter, hell yeah. Theresa. Uh, yeah, let's go with Teresa. That's a nice name. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Uh, do I have this guy's favor yet, or what? Oh, what's this? Hold on. Edition Leap. Oh, that's right, yeah. I have not played- I have not looked at this at all. Can I move around here? Oh, here we go. You do a bandito. Yeah, I've not I've not checked this part out of the game at all. Hmm. Do I care to spend the prestige? I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Action created. Hell no. Liberty faction. Bah! I will forever be loyal to my friend. Go. 
out here. Advice culture. I don't need any of this stuff. Far from home, a stranger is brought before you. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for weeks, my liege. Nagorard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Tashana. Ooh, he's a Jewish guy. Uh, your highness. Uh, what? You got good skills? No, oh, you'd be a good steward. I travel far and wide and seen many things, but I am weary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Strong hook. I don't really think I care about a hook on this guy. Uh. Convert, I guess. Now. Go and make you our steward. Yo, she's pregnant again! There we go. This guy's much better. Beautiful game. Trip out to one of the villages in your holdings. Your holding has led me into an intriguing situation. What appears to be the vast majority of the village turned out into the market square, and two motley groups of people have formed, equidistant to both of them, visible from my position only by virtue of the rather apprehensive looking villager holding it. it appears to be an inflated pig's bladder. Are they gonna eat it? Or play the bagpipes. Uh, perhaps noticing a quizzical expression, a valet quickly explains the situation. Turns out there's some form of popular game. Uh, how fascinating. What are the rules? It is with some anxiety that my trusty valet informs me of the rules and regulations of the coming event. As it happens, the game of so-called football is very widely played and encompasses many, all manner of people. Um, and we are Spanish. We have to play football. Supposedly, both sides endeavor to move the ball, as the... Uh, Pig's bladder is known to the side of the village that their group is not defending by any means necessary. Any means. The final part was intoned with significant gravitas, and the ex explanation is swift. While its death is rare, injury is not. You think there's a spot for me? The big signing. Observing the mass of people, I can see a man who looks curiously out of place, dressed in rich furs and with a small retinue of people. He is engaged in lively conversation with another, significantly larger man. These ball feats are gonna be feeding ball. What? Uh, wending my way through the crowd. I arrive in their vicinity just to see the wealthy merchant drop a small coin purse into the other's hand. Those are doing business with you. Now make sure my bet is a safe one. The uh, jolly merchant smirks. As the large man begins to walk over to the other team's group, it appears some care not for the sanctity of the game. Fifteen gold. Appendage orb. Do we pay him or do we just go? Let's let's pay him. Kick off. 
with all the pre-game niceties taken care of, all that remains is the in, in uh, to initiate the event. Town crier leaning dangerously out of the first floor window of a house overlooking the square bu uh, bundles the pig's bladder through the frame. The crowd look expectantly, and after a short pause, the ball takes flight. The stampede begins. Follow me, team. Thatch of the hay. The mob surges and crashes against the walls of a nearby house like a wave. As the group recoils from the walls, several people hang on to whatever outcroppings they can as others try and rip them away to get the ball carrier. Ball carrier. The sound of splintering wood and crumpling wattle rings around the market square, and as the crowd retreats, several sections of the house's thatched roof tumbles to the ground. Fifty? Ugh. Honestly, I'll lower the county control. I think, our, I think my control is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's at 100 right now. We can lose a little bit. All's fair in love and football. Oh man, I think I just got. Never a pen. As the game wears on, more and more of the villagers have to drop out. Some stagger, uh, someone staggers by me, bruising already evident on their head. Suddenly, one more man from the group drops at my feet with an ear-splitting scream. The noise is... What is this? Football or rugby? The noise is enough to even distract the participants, and both the crowd and I step back uh, away from his writhing. Though I could have sworn I saw one eye open there. The moment enough... Uh, the moment enough daylight shows through the crowd, the injured man leaps to his feet and scoops out the ball, herring towards me across the square. Oh, he just... Flopped. Man, that's a lot of stress. Alright. Oh, good to see you recovered quickly. As the day wears on, the ebb and flow of the game reaches its climax. Both sides surge forward after the ball, and I'm caught in the middle of one such eddy in the flow of people. I topple and fall, protecting my head from the stampe uh, stamping feet, only to clamber to my knees and find an unusual calm to fall in the market square. Looks like the game's done. Did... did we win? Heavy defeat. Trampling feet thunder past, and I struggle to my feet to ascertain why. A short distance away in the square, the opposition team hold the ball off triumphantly and cheer. It's not just a loss, it's an outright demolition. My team begins to drift despondently out of the area, but the party has only just started for the victors. A large cask of ale has already taken center stage, and the drinks are flowing freely for celebrations that will no doubt last into the evening. These resistance? Nah. Alright. Congratulations to the winners. I like, you're more of a footballer if you complain about it. <laughs> Yo, we got a sun! Alright, let's, um... I've got a different name, one that I can pronounce. Good Catholic name. Oh, Constantine. Beautiful, yes. Love it. Old Denzians? Well, then Zins are all right. Uh, who's this guy? Then, like, Salerno. He's Italian. Whatever. The Impaler. No, I don't think this guy, um, is really sincere about his conversion.
What twisted mockery of our faith is this? Alright, they're like all... Hold on, is that Duke Robert? Like... Okay, apparently... Frickin' Robert the Fox has become old Denzian. Huh. Alright, uh, current situation, powerful vassal, expect to count. Powerful vassal my ass, you're a lowborn. Go to hell. Can I banish you? Ah, screw him. Who cares? Alright, I converted my province. Can I demand a province if I have a claim on it? Like, from my liege. If I could get three provinces here, if I get that one and then conquer that one, I could make myself a duchy. An unworthy challenge. Fearless blaggard. At first they thought the simple footman a fool for stepping onto the training field. Though so Sancho... De Toledo, deemed uh, no threat at first, it quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild, vicious strikes from hurting me. Starming him suddenly became a matter of life and death. I tried not to show uh, my relief when his sword finally hit the ground. You could actually be a decent knight there. Yo, Calvin DeBest, how you doing, man? Oh, something sad. Because we freaking kill the guy. Um, no, I think we should have him as a knight. Be a good knight. Knight, knight. Oh, how to break? Like, like how do you mean? Alright, he's a knight. Be a good knight. That 110? Nah, way too much. Just crashes. Uh, maybe try just uninstalling it and reinstalling it. Oh, are you going to bed, or are you actually, or are you just responding to my good night with a K thing? Also, how do I do education for my kids again? Hit child. Have her... You go for like stewardship? Okay. You have a good night, man. Who is this guy? Then I will educate my son myself. I want him to be a great warrior.
All right, later, dude. Thanks for hanging out. All right, got a new perk. Let's actually go for the knight effect in this. We got some good knights. 491. I'm gonna sit in at 636. Well, I want to create, upgrade you again. Get another minute arms unit. Caballeros. Forest, taiga, jungle. Which, what guys are good in hills and mountains? Pikeman. Uh, yeah, Pikeman would be good. They're also not super expensive. Armored Horseman. Ooh. I'm going to go ahead and get some pikemen. Because, I mean, once I take another territory... No, we sick! Alright, we'll spend it. How good is my wife's stewardship, anyway? Not great. She doesn't have good skills. All right, he's been swayed. All right, court positions. I think I, I think I get those. Let's go ahead and get you. You got good learning there, my guy. Actually, mm -mm. it costs... Eh, that's not a huge amount. That's Fabricated Claim on Soria. Undisciplined Recruits. Today observing Mayor Nuno. I don't like this guy. As he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob more than an army. I look as uh, look on as he struggles to gain control of the situation, clearly pushing pushed his limits. While it's never easy to train new soldiers, he ne seriously needs to do better this than this. I mean, I could make him like like me more. Get some bread. Go ahead and teach him about this. Maybe he'll be grateful and like me more and stuff. He right. He accepts. Very good. Hopefully I'm not... I don't think I'm, like... Hopefully he won't bite the hand that feeds. Uh, one side of the recruits attempt to continue their training. The key thing with training new soldiers is instilling discipline, I tell him. Without that, you will be unable to depend on them to follow your orders. After I finish, you know, thanks me before strolling back onto the field where he quickly takes control of the situation. and sway this guy. He's not that far off. We might be able to make it so he w doesn't want to uh, rebel against us or whatever. 
Rusty Stallion. Did we already get this one? We already got a Fierce War Horse. But I don't think we can get an even fiercer one. So he needs to be strong. Or it replaced it. Strong and fierce. Okay. I don't... Yeah, let me know if we can have an even fiercer one. Very cool. Oh, pregnant again! Bumping him out like nobody's business. How strong are you? I've only got 964. I might be able to go ahead and start uh, attacking into Navara there. Imagine becoming the king of Navarra. Well, uh, watch me like eat my way this way. All right, he's been swayed. Yo, nice number that I'm spending there. Um, sure, let's do it. Get done. He's got 460, 496. I got 763. Another daughter, Jimena. Oh, why is that? And you can, I guess, be educated by. My mother. Where is mother? This, uh, you guys give me a gift. How oh, nice. Well, because they're generous, they lose stress. That's, that's really nice. If you have a lot of money and you're generous, you can burn stress pretty easy. Wow. Now, let's actually go ahead and, uh, upgrade my castle or something. 150. Oh, that'll just give me more... X. Ah, oh, it'll give me Defender's Advantage, Skirmish of Toughness. Now, these are just farms and fields and stuff. Money's well, nice, but we kind of just need more troops at the moment. I want to make absolutely sure. Do you have friends? Friends with that guy. Like, why, why were you able to call him this guy? Alright, here's my castle. It'd take a lot to upgrade it, actually. That's a new special building. That's a thousand... Hmm, do we want to go Pastoral Lands? That gives us 50 more levy. Why would he choose this one over this one? If this guy does the same thing, and it gives us better damage for those things. Ooh. I'm gonna go for that, get heavy infantry damage. 
I, let's go for a barracks. Feeling it. Let's have our steward. Increase. Oh, no. Development. Do it. So I wait three years before I actually attack the guy. Organized levy service, very cool. Peasant rabble. Alright, envelopment. Cause I won't back down. Gallant. I like that. It'd be cool if we could actually get all of these as as uh, El Cid here. Never back down. Let's do that one. What? Why? How? There is never a quiet moment. My son and heir, Constantine, is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted by the constant stream of thoughts and queries. He becomes curious. That's good. And a father and a mother love each other very much. Challenge. I'm sparring with one of my soldiers, sweat being down my forehead when I experience the uncanny sensation of being watched. Looking over my shoulder, I spot uh, my vassal, this, yeah, Mayor Nuno, who waves at me. I walk over to greet him. We talk about our weapon practice for a while, trading tricks and advice. Just as I am about to leave for another round, Mayor Nuno's face lights up as he suggests we practice together. Sure. There's a 2% chance I lose this. Watch me lose this. That'd be hilarious. Upper hand. The sounds of axe clashing against mace echoes between the courtyard walls. All eyes are on us. Everyone wants to see their count fighting his vassal. The crowd applauds as I lunge. And their admiration makes me bold. Instead of pulling back, I attempt a new technique I have been practicing. Movements flow through me and into my axe if we were one. Mayor Nuno is defenseless before me. I don't know. I, I mean, I can, I can make him like me more. Let's end it here. Well fought. I became... No! Oh, he's dead! Best and truest friend cut down, taken by the cold embrace of death before his time. I weep, I wail, I tear up my hair and clothing, but I know I'll never see him again. Ow, how can I go on now? Sancho, dear, sweet Sancho, would want me to... And I have to hope that his memory can sustain me through these dark times. But life seems like a candle without a flame without him. Oh, I'm stressed. You'll never be forgotten, old friend. How did he die? Who am I gonna kill? He died from his wounds. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh, he said Aragon. If you start as uh, Barcelona form Aragon instead of playing as Aragon from start, it's quite an easy campaign. Oh, gotcha. My friend Sancho was always there for me. I didn't expect his death to be easy, but neither could I have imagined it would be this hard. He was always ready to cheer me up or help me out in a tight spot. You know, I think actually historically, Sancho died relatively young. He was always ready to cheer me up or help me out in a tight spot. With all my recent troubles, his absence is especially notable.
drink. Frozen grief. Moderate penalty. Uh, yeah, I guess that's historical. He died at exactly 36 here. So there we go. I must press on. It is what he would have wanted. Alright, yeah, he wants me to make, my mar make me marshal. Alright, kid. For my beloved Sancho, your father, I will make sure. I will swear my fealty to you. I mean, I'm already... I, I'm already feel, feel to you. Uh, I am going to... Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna back out of the line of Sancho until, like, maybe my, my heir would. But, uh, El Cid will no, do no such thing. Um, yeah, how was my... That's 713. 500. Do I just go for the war? Okay. I have thunder out there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a cheeky little save. Because I can scum it if I feel like it. Maybe the combat will make me forget. Press my claims. Or we're declared. Raise all. Oh, hold on. His friend actually came on in. Alright, let's attack them. That's, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, we won. That's not where I wanted to attack them, but okay. All in 750. Okay, I need more dudes. Or I just completely beat the crap out of them. Turn speed down. Yeah, we're gonna get him. Fighting the planes this time. Oh, very good. We're at 49% already. Capture this guy. He's got good marshal. Oh, we just totally stack wiped him there. Catch them, that'd be great. Yeah, there we go. Our Knight Diego has been wounded. Still 50%. Well, let's go and siege this down. That'll probably be easier. Hopefully. No, it's not. Yeah. I just wonder if they actually still have that mechanic. Now, what exactly do I need here? Uh, 
not enough soldiers. I need 750. So I only need... I mean, if I recover a bit... Well, I still need more. Maybe I, do I raise you up, I wonder? Full maintenance. Um, that'll give me an extra hundred here. Uh, what are my alternatives? I don't think I have any. Alright, I think I just upgrade you. And then just go recover. Yeah, I don't have enough money for Mercs. Yeah, let's see. I don't even know if they can raise any more dudes. Oh, they raised some. Now we got 800 now. Yeah, you you go you go do that thing. You go leave your castle. Ah, uh, here we go. They can't even siege my stuff, clearly, unless Still too high, apparently. Barely. Or, uh, no, it, it is progressing. Never mind. Just slowly. Alright, go ahead and attack me. Maybe a long war. Because I'm gonna lose troops, so we're gonna have to recover. Hopefully we'll just capture the dude in the fight. And they're real desperate to try that. I mean, at least I'm not losing money while this is happening. Under the stone pine. The scorching midday heat. They sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lutes and flutes. They sing in Galician Portuguese, in Catalan, about life, loss, bittersweet love. I can hear them from my balcony, and they stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians, and when I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. Are they sent from heaven? Are they phantoms devised by Satan to ensnare me? Perhaps not. But what am I to do with these damned feelings? Alright, lowered stress. Well, oh, minus 25%. I, yeah. Monthly prestige gain. Aversion to joy. Yikes. So stress gain minus... 25%. Does that mean that 
instances that would raise my stress are one quarter smaller? Or are does that mean that that like my stress is going to tick down over the next ten years? Either way, uh, that's too expensive even so, so I'll go so beautiful. If you get- okay. Alright, thank you. That's kind of what I figured. Come on. Let's get rid of them. And now we recover. Got a new perk. Uh, let's do this one. Each weapon effect in this. I don't think that actually makes a difference right now. But clearly we're gonna need it in the future. I don't think we technically have any siege weapons at the moment. Picking down. Yeah, it is. Damn it, I really should have just gone a second earlier. Is the AI really this smart? As to know that if they attack me, I even if they do lose. Damn it. I need money. Can I take out a loan? Something? A little bit. I mean, it's really just a money thing. Hybridized Bedouin and Butcher. Interesting. Now, the Amorbids are doing pretty well. Dantium is... pretty fractured. Belgics doing their thing. Hire mercenaries and go bankrupt. I mean, that's gonna... Ugh. HRE's having problems. Yeah, uh... Where are you at, Norm? And Billy the Bastard! old Yaroslav the Wise. Where is... Name, is it... Saint Olga? So if I go bankrupt, that just makes the quality of my dudes lower? Right?
Like, I need a loan to just hire these guys in the first... Oh, wait, no. Uh, you'll hire the mercenaries by going to debt. Which makes it they don't replenish. Okay. That's actually alright. Because, like, I mean, if we get... 800 more dudes... That'd take a lot more to burn through. Wait, already hired, already hired. Um... Camels? I don't really want horses. Mostly horsemen. Um... Sure. Camels. All right, let's have my guys actually do the hacking here. Because my dudes can actually replenish. Oh no! I need a new bishop! I got a new bishop. Welsh. Not impressive. Great, I've got an analytical atheist as my priest. And that's over. I don't know if the AI is really dumb or really smart for just throwing their men at a at a defensive position with far inferior numbers. Um, supply capacity that could actually be useful right now. Let's do that. Living off the land. Bishop endorsement. Right. I have to make my bishop like me now. Yo, we got high medieval era. Uh, innovations or something. The Caliber Settlers. Band of several hundred pale-skinned Takaliba, enslaved men and women from the eastern reaches of Europe, have escaped the realm of my acquaintance Mir Muktab uh, Tadir. Talk as he may about how treasured they were in his armies and his harem. Okay. Uh, they have braved many dangers to seek freedom in my land. We all have scars, their leader Ruslan tells me on our bodies or deep inside but we are strong and determined we long for some land of our own where can we speak uh where we can speak our ancestral tongue if you let us settle in the city of usteda we would work hard and make it prosper russian muslims interesting Um, sure.
This guy sucks. I do not like him. You could, you could, I could even make you mayor. The eunuch. Right. Ah, finally. I captured him in that battle. Alright, I will get no money. What if I... Okay, how much can I... Va how much can I ransom you for? Because I'm about to finish the siege. Nineteen. Not worth it. Let's just end it. Force demands. Alright, now let's lower all our dudes. Oh, what the city loot was? Well, uh, not much. Or, uh, well, that's tax now. Oops. Uh, whatever. Probably wasn't that much. We're gonna be done shortly anyway. Gains of fame. Got another province. There we go. Mental break, wanton desires. Lately it feels like I am constantly being distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardship of my daily life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. Yeah, I know, they were probably bled dry. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? A brothel? Burton Historianism. I don't think I want to do either of those. Historianism. Really? That's weird. You know, perhaps you'd sooner just switch to a a religion that he's probably never even realistically heard of rather than like actually go to a priest and talk to the folks that are like right next door i'm just gonna bite my lip deal with it wait compliments clear rationality Alright, I'll pay. Don't like it. Hey, you'll give me money. There we go. That's fixing our problems. Alright, we could do the dynasty thing. We'll deal with that in a second. Who else is in my prison? Yeah. That's where the money's at. And I got nothing against you guys. Cannot even ransom you. I'll just let you go. You don't need to be sticking around here. Right? Can I not just release you? Apparently not. Oh, no, you're, you're considering a proposal. That's the guy that I was just talking with. Okay. I do kind of looks like you and McGregor. Oh, hold on. 
Fancy. Oh, they apparently don't have any money. Let's release you. Get out of there. Man, we captured freaking everybody. Everybody actually had money is probably already gone. Oh, you've got some money. I'll take all that, thank you. And I think you're the last one. You've got no money either. There we go. And now we can do the whole legacy thing. Uh, let's see. Fountain, Curry, Customs, Warfare. That sounds right. We don't really have any congenital traits yet. Marriage acceptance. That might not be bad later. Fertility also could be good. I think we go for the warfare, though, because that's kind of what we're all about. Where else Cid? Warfare. Righteous wars with large armies and skilled knights and commanders. House of Warriors. Heck yeah. Uh, Conciliation. Conciliation, <clears throat> excuse me, is uh, currently what we're going for. How strong are you? You've only got 777. I've actually got quite a few soldiers that I can raise. Okay, we're they're actually still under contract. That's why this is so high. My levies are actually still pretty sizable. Maybe I want to use them still. We only got 935. If we were to have all those guys, all the guys we got now. Go ahead and get, let's see if we can get a claim on Navara there. Oh, that's three months, though? Six months. Yeah, they're almost done. <laughs> Thouse, investments in Storia. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in the county of Soria. My wife, Elvira, draws up the details of the business investment, and it does indeed look as if the, detail, the deal... Could benefit Soria greatly if successful. Sure. Sounds good. Let's give it a shot. It's a risk worth taking. And it failed. <laughs> Damn it. And I looted the place and now I'm doing bad business in it. We should, uh, let's increase control as well. Sunny day. Apparently, red hair knows the move. Sunny day. 
As I make my way to the stable, I am greeted by the happy naze of red hair. It seems eager to stretch its legs in the beautiful weather, and I can nothing but agree. Training. Plus one prowess. Or do we just lose 10 stress? I think we want to go for... I mean, what's the, what's 5 going to make at this point? Like, 5 versus 10. Let's do diligent training. And the mercenaries are gone. Oh, he probably converted it on his own. No, no, I converted it. It's the other guy, the mayor that's a Muslim. Let's see it on council. Uh, are you good enough to be on my council? No. You are not. You are not a powerful vassal either. Let's see if we could... Sway you at least. Come on, guy. Be chill. Let's be chill. Let's collect taxes, actually. Wait, hold on. Am I still building something here? Oh, it's already been built. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, do the taxes. And we got another perk. He accepted this most 10. That is nice. I don't want to go for the control growth now that I actually have things that I need to increase control of. I mean, how old am I again? Am I like late 20s? You think I can get all of these? What are the odds? This doesn't mean anything to me. That doesn't mean anything to me. Yet. So when my children do come of age... I'll actually start working on that path. Harsh judgment. Following the death of the sentence of a little thief, I asked my son and heir Constantine what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Just intemperate. Keep just. Punish it did indeed not fit the crime. Are you been swayed? Keep working on that. Are you still fighting your rebellious vassal down there? Yeah, oh, this war started two years ago. Ooh, hold on, though. Any chance you want to marry my son?
Still not. 180. Maybe we should work on that. Yeah, let's get that, that marriage thing down. Get ourselves that kingdom. That'd be real nice. Alright, my daughter's doing pretty well here. I'm 35. I guess El Cid doesn't quite do as much cool stuff if he is kind of bound to the land as he is. Constantine has been asking me for a pet rabbit for a long time, and I told him I would get one for him in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. Ever since I made the promise, he promised he's been redoubling the effort of his studies. Rusting. I mean, he's been doing it. I would never deceive you, Constantine. A new Marshall Perk? We're really racking these up here. Yeah, here we go. Marriage acceptance. I don't think that'll make quite the difference. One fifty five. Not yet. Marrying down. If I could get that kingdom, then we'd be on good ground there. That's only like three provinces as well. We're about to get a claim on one. If I get two of them, I think you usurp it. Let's see it done. We've only got 980. I've got 1300. And my money has definitely rebounded quite a lot. How much would it cost to recruit you? 110? It's so expensive. Now this guy's 13. Let's go ahead and get this guy, because he's at least been uh, no reason not to, I guess. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, man. And thanks again for the raid. Yeah, nice meeting you too, dude. Yeah, tomorrow I'm planning on streaming Stellaris. But if I'm liking this enough, I may continue this. We will see. This is, this is fun. I, I, it's been a long time since I played Crusader Kings. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do... I want to do one more Cheeky War. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to call it here. We got two provinces. We're doing all right. We got some weaker neighbors next to us and everything's going A-OK. -okay. I've already got 53 control here. Alright, well, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Let's go ahead and do a little save. And the art in this game is beautiful. Like, look at this. So, yeah, as I said, tomorrow, either gonna play Stellaris or more of this. I'm, I'm leaning towards more of this right now. It wasn't a terrible spot that I want to restart.
in like I want to restart in Stellaris, so it's not the worst thing if I want to do that. Is that my wife? Is she a midget? Sorry, that was actually rude. Is she a, a little person? That was actually a rude. Uh, she's oddly short. I did not notice. Is she? Yeah, whatever. Uh, that's fine. What? All right. Yeah, sorry. 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 I, that's a rude way of saying that. Rude. Rude word. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Bye!